Hi, this is Brian Stark, and I'm going to show you how to enter a scouting record using the online platform, and then share it with a trusted advisor, and then finally view the report. To do this, make sure you have the correct crop year and field name, and then go to Field Manager and select Scouting. And as you can see, we don't have any scouting reports to view yet, so we'll bring up the Trimble Ag mobile app and enter one in. Okay, so now we have the mobile app on the screen. The first thing you'll want to do is confirm the year and then click on the fields tile. We'll pick out our field that we're scouting. And then the tile that you want to focus on is called Field Scout. As you can see, there's no prior records here, uh, just like what we saw on the online platform. So if we hit the plus button, we'll add a new one today. It puts in the, uh, the current date and the temperature here, which you can edit just by clicking on it. Just hit the back button to get back to the original screen. Uh, you can enter a crop stage, uh, crop condition. Um, there's also a bunch of buttons down below, so you don't have to fill in all this information here, but I'll go ahead and just click a couple of these, for example, by clicking weeds. Uh, there's actually a huge database of weeds already built into the app. Uh, if I just kind of scroll through here, you'll see there's quite a few here to pick from. Um, I will go ahead and just click one of them and hit done. Uh, for that, uh, that weed type, we, we just hit the low if you want to change that from low to high. And there's additional information you can fill in. And hit done. You can add another weed, hit the plus button. If uh, you've done these for other jobs, um, for other fields, you can go ahead and hit the recent button and you'll see a list of other ones I've used in the past for other fields. And so maybe for this field also had some black nightshade and I'll select that one and hit done. It just might be a quicker way of finding your weeds instead of scrolling through there and finding each one. Um, also, there's uh, other features here for insects and diseases. It's very similar to, uh, to the weeds. If you hit the all, there's quite a few there to pick from. Um, or if you go to uh, recent, um, I actually use the Western Bean Cutworm for another field. I'll go ahead and click that one again, hit done. Um, just like the weeds, we hit the low. You can add a lot of information here. So back to our screen here, just kind of scroll down here, show you some other features. Um, you can add photos. If you want to use the camera built into your tablet or smartphone, you can take a picture of that, uh, that weed or insect, and that will load that into the, to the specific job here that we're working on, which will make its way back to the online platform. And you can add comments. And if I keep scrolling down here, you'll see there's my field boundary. And if, you, uh, if I had GPS working and I'm actually standing in the field, you'll see my little cursor there. But since I don't, I'll just hit the little plus button and actually manually add uh, my GPS position. And so you can actually record a name here. So if we wanted to say this was our weed high pressure, you know, you can type anything there that you want. But if you want to record that specific point in the field, uh, just go ahead and move that X around manually, or you can use your GPS, current GPS position and log where you're standing in the field and hit the little check mark and that will log a GPS point of where you're standing. And there's some other features here too. If you want to load background maps on top of that field, there's a little layer button there that you can do. Um, if I just go ahead and uh, move up a little bit more here, if you go to recommendations, this was a, a recent feature where you can create a work order from this scouting job. So uh, that's a really nice feature to uh, assign this task to another person. Uh, we will just go ahead and not save that. So this looks really good to me. I'm going to hit, hit the record button in the upper right hand corner and it will save that job. So right here it is. Okay. Um, one more feature here to look at right next to the record button is a send button. If you hit that button, um, you can go ahead and email that, um, that job to an advisor. So that person doesn't have to have access to the uh, to the Trimble account, your Trimble account, it will just send that person an email of all the records that you just did. All right, so going back to uh, the main screen here, um, we'll go ahead and synchronize this job. And that way it will put all these records into our online platform. When the synchronization is complete, our new entry will appear underneath the scouting tab. And if we need to make changes to it, no problem. Just hit the three dots and choose edit, or you can choose print. 
and a nice report appears that has all the information that we recorded. Thanks again for watching our video today. If you wish to keep updated with new videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel.